I'm back from the lovely Ikea. Now, it doesn't rhyme with hell, so it's just Ikea. Simple as that. Very, very busy, but I think because it is spread over such a long, large area, it didn't feel too busy. Does that make sense? I think so. The cafeteria is closed. Well, not the main restaurant area, but the little part where you buy hot dogs. And there's one outside, which I showed you on the way in, I think. Yes, I showed you on the way in video, so have a look out for that one. We went for furniture for the kitchen. We came back with no furniture for the kitchen. <laughs> we saw some beautiful pieces. We really, really did. But it's a smallish kitchen, so we couldn't have the big items that Mr. Producer wanted. I don't know why, something about size. He likes the bigger things. What can I say? Me, size never bothers me. So yes, we can't really fit. We've measured up now. We know what we're going to go back for probably tomorrow <laughs> to get them because it's not in, we don't live that far away from it, thankfully. So yes, we went, we saw this huge six cupboard thing. Absolutely beautiful, amazing, but it won't fit. Simple as that. It's too small, so it won't fit. Sorry, Mr. Producer, but you can't, even you can't fit through a gap that big to get in. I certainly can't. Anyway, we're now going to go back for a smaller item. But I bought some bits and bobs for the kitchen for when it's finished. We saw this on display. It's a good pickle jar, isn't it? <laughs> but it's also good. What we saw was being useful was the utensils, you know, like spoons and spatulas, you know, tall things. And what are they called? Spatula. Yeah. Are they called a spatula? Frying pan things. Then they're called spatulas. And spoons and things like that. Anyway, so they're all going to stick out of here next to my oven. Right? So there's that. That cost um, £14. That's a big pickle jar. <laughs> Sorry. And it's it's me. So you can like, I have to have pink cups. Simple as that. So I'm going to bin all my other cups. They're just they're going in the bin or to wherever. Whatever charity shop they're going. Apart from the ones that have got pictures on of the family, the rest are gone. See ya. I only need five mugs in my life. I have four pink ones. Uh, shall I go and get the other one that I've bought? <laughs> Can you wait for one second? <laughs> guess what's on it? Can anybody guess? Oh, no, there's a picture on that side as well. <laughs> I didn't realise. I bought a unicorn one. It says, I'm simply magical. So yes, that they go quite nice together, don't they? Five mugs. That's it. Family of five. We only need five mugs. Sorry. Anybody else comes around for a cup of tea? Bring your own cup. Or a cup of coffee? Bring your own cup. Right. Then I've got these. One will be good for a cookbook, maybe. Or iPads or whatever. You know, when I want to listen to music, put my iPad on it and play it. They were £1.29 each. That was a good buy. Oh yeah, the mugs were more expensive than they were. <laughs> they were £1.75 each, they were. That one was only £1.50. See, unicorns are cheap and special. From Asda, yes, from Asda. So Mr. Producer got his lovely Swedish chocolate bars. Yeah, because I don't eat chocolate. Um, so yeah, okay, I'll have one then, Mr. Producer, if you're saying that they're not just for you. That's lovely of you, thank you. I got my rubber brush to clean with. <laughs> so, yeah, that can sit there and, and not look awkward in the slightest. We've got one of these, because I've got one of these already. We've got a couple of office tables. One's my gaming table with no cover on, and one's my office table with a cover on. And the office table, surprisingly enough, has no felt tip, no pen marks, no scratches or anything on. Whereas the gaming table, let's just say Mr. Producer's not seen the mark yet, but this will go on the gaming table to protect it. Now it was £4.50, which I didn't think was too bad for peace of mind. Then what do you think, Mr. Producer? Easy to wipe down. Then I have a bowl to replace a broken bowl for my cornflakes in the morning or for Mr. Producer's cornflakes in the morning. I think it was £1.30, wasn't it? Oh! <laughs> Right, I will be baking on computer, baking on video. So this is my sieve. Look. So this is your flour. Put your flour in and go. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> might take a while but you can also when you bake the cake you want to decorate it with your icing sugar put that in it all over the cake what do you think that was two pound fifty was that two pound fifty i think and then we have i know what we didn't get when i know what we've got to measure up from the kitchen to about that um thing to put the plates and the forks and the knives and don't, don't forget okay so yes this goes over the sink so then when i'm peeling potatoes for my new active fry that mr producer is going to buy me <laughs> um, potatoes will go in here i'll give them a good wash and they'll get chopped up to go in the active fry oh yeah and give them a good wash still have to use your hand though to move the potatoes around <laughs> or you can wash fruit or you can wash veg if any of it actually comes into this house not frozen you know i'm not sure how much is this one £1.50? £2.00? Something like that. That... <laughs> that was only 95p. Listen. Did you think he was going to pull the paint off then? Was you hoping? So I'd have to do another painting video. No, you can even do it that way. <laughs> Remind me of a bit of a ring mark. So I can't do that. But yes, we will be going back tomorrow. I will make sure Mr Producer takes me back tomorrow. 100% definitely to get this cabinet and i'm sure i'll be the idiot that's probably building it up anyway will i or no because it's quite big so you you can do it see that i'm doing all the painting you can do it the brush has spoken it has spoken yes what was that sound like somebody knocking on the window hello a bit late for delivery <laughs> but yes that's not bad going so and that in there for a minute. I just hope my utensils fit in it now. I know I'm too short to go in it. We, we shall see. But yeah, I, I've got my lovely unicorn mug and my other pink mugs. I don't think I need anything else, do I? I need my active fry and things like that. But nothing small, do I? I think so. I've got enough junk to put back in that kitchen. Oh, it's not all going back in. It's not all going back in. The local charity shop will love me. I'll be taking bagfuls and bagfuls. The bin men don't like me, but the charity shop will love me. <laughs> so yes, that was my adventure at IKEA. Obviously we can't film inside the building because there's no reception inside the building. So why can't we film there? Too many people, yeah. It's too scary. But yeah, um, the reception would be if I went live. You can tell it's late. It's like quarter to nine at night. I'm normally colouring by now or in bed asleep. That's how adventurous my life is. But never mind, I've now got to go and do probably one out of the wardrobe, is it next, Mr. Producer? And then I've got to go and paint some more drawers. Yippee! <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me on my lovely IKEA trip. No doubt you'll be joining me on tomorrow's IKEA trip as well. So look forward to that one. See you soon. Like the video for me. Subscribe to all four of my channels. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram for all the lovely crap that I put on there. <laughs> goodbye for now.